Do you ever wonder why you may not be able to create momentum for your goals whenever you have big dreams to achieve? Well, the problem may not be about setting goals at all. What you need to focus on instead is creating systems. Now, thinking about systems has completely changed my own outcomes for reaching my goals. And I think it's going to be really helpful to you too. So in today's video, I'm going to share why systems can amplify your chances of achieving your goals faster and why a growth mindset is going to support you to commit to your goals so that you'll actually achieve them. I'm Lydia Lee. I'm the work reinvention coach and solopreneur strategist at Screw the Cubicle. And I've helped hundreds of budding and existing business owners to create and intentional businesses that are designed from their unique genius zone so that they can experience true freedom in their work and their lives. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to be the first to know when new videos hit this channel every single month. So the first step I take before I get into motion and start taking action for my goals is to first start to take a look at all these big goals I have and actually prioritize where I truly want to spend my time and my my energy on for a certain boundary of time. So I like to plan in quarters of the year. There's four quarters in a 12 month period of a year. And I like looking at every 90 days as a new batch of goals that I might want to achieve. We just can't do it all at once. And if we try to do it all at once, very likely that ends up having uh, or getting into burnout and we end up not achieving anything at all by the end of the year. And we start a lot of goals, but we never tend to finish them, right? <laughs> so don't make that mistake this year and know that you can get a lot of goals accomplished. You can have big dreams for your life, but you don't need to start every single one of these goals at the same time. You have permission to take it slow. OK, so the first step is really deciding, get your list of goals out and really start to decide what are one to two big goals I want to achieve in the next 90 days and put the other goals in a parking lot, right? And a parking lot could be sticky notes on a wall. Maybe it's in a notebook. You might want to revisit it in the next quarter, but really just pick one or two big goals for the first 90 days. You're going to have such a better chance of accomplishing it when you choose, decide to choose, right? And after you decide what those priority goals are and you start listing the steps or the actions that you want to take to accomplish these goals, remember to focus on tiny bite-sized actions. I'm a big believer in small, tiny movements that actually bring momentum rather than only looking at the bigger picture at all times because it allows us to celebrate more often, right? These micro goals being accomplished day to day. And you're also going to feel like you're getting somewhere. You're going to feel progress when you have tiny bite-sized actions. And more importantly, it's going to feel more motivating to go ahead and do those tasks because they're small, they're tiny, um, and it's very doable. And that helps to give us that that sense of accomplishment a lot faster than waiting for big, big goals to be achieved. OK, so if I dive into this particular um, topic of how to choose your goals, if you have like 100 goals and not really, um, you know, feeling confident in knowing how to choose, I do have a video that I filmed that you can watch right here above the, in the cards on how to choose what to focus on and achieve your goals. It's going to give you a little bit more context about how to pick. Now, I have spent many years having dreams for goals in the beginning of the year. And then by the end of the year, I fall short in actually accomplishing a lot of them. And I know that I'm not alone in feeling like there's an enthusiasm in the beginning of the year and then ending up kind of tapering off whenever we think about, oh, God, did I do anything this year towards some of my big dreams and feeling like you've got a lot of things started, but not a lot of things completed. So this one thing that I really learned about creating systems to actually progress towards my goals have made the biggest difference in achieving them. And I have to give a lot of kudos to James Clear, who is the author of Atomic Habits, where I learned a lot of these um, systems to practice in my life, to create in my life, to design in my everyday life in order to make the goal not a faraway dream or a dreamy dream, but actually doable actions I can accomplish every single day towards the big goal, right? 
So James Clear says you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. And if you're like most people, you may not have been paying that much attention to systems and you've been paying a lot of attention to just the goals. So a goal, as James says, is a result you want to achieve. We know those goals, but a system is a process that leads to these results. That's where our focus needs to be. And a system is really something that you're doing every single day to get to your goals, right? And when you do something every single day, this then formulates what we call habits and habits will lead you to whenever you have big goals in the future, you're going to be able to execute, right? And implement that new habit to achieve them even faster the next time around. So let's talk a little bit about what systems are. What are some examples of systems that can allow you to actually see your momentum, see your progress of what you're doing towards your goals and make things real for you every single day and every single week. So for example, a big goal could be that you want to write a book. So you're focused so much on book publishing, book launching, right? But the real work and what's really going to get you there is a system to actually get you writing every single day. And you may have a particular goal in mind, right? A mini goal <laughs> uh, of a thousand words a day or even 500 words a day that you do consistently every day in order to accomplish a big feat like writing a book. So what would be the system to allow you to show up every day and write a book? It might be a certain time of the day, right? That you are the most creative, the most sort of um, energized, right? Might be nighttime for some people, might be afternoon, might be morning. You get to decide by experimenting experimenting a little bit around that and deciding that that's the time block that you are going to actually be taking every day or every other day or just weekends, right, to do this. And you make that a habit by scheduling that uh, and showing up for it no matter what, right? Another example is if you are a business owner, you just launched a business and one of your goals is to get more clients. Now, just focus on getting more clients, but not knowing how you're going to get there or how to talk to more people, you're going to fail in that goal, right? So you want to think about, again, a system. If I want to get in front of my clients, what do I need to be doing to showcase my work more consistently, right? And I like to look at the way I perform my goals or achieve my goals to be in alignment with how I want to operate. Right. So if you want to get more clients, part of your job is to figure out what is your best way of connecting to clients, building relationships with clients and being able to showcase what you do. And so for me, for example, it's things like talking to clients. I'm great at conversations. So I do more invitations for people to get on a call with me to attend a training I'm doing so that I can do my best work and show what I do right from the get go. Right. So that would be my system, for example, is how do I create a schedule that allows me to create more invitations for discovery calls, to be at places, online forums, physical places like masterminds, or getting referrals from my, uh, my current clients at the moment for other potential clients in order to create a pathway to have more powerful conversations with potential coaching clients. So if clients are one of your goals, you might want to think about designing a system that you show up for every single week, right? However, the frequency looks like to consistently be teaching what you know. If you're a teacher at heart, you might be doing more trainings. You might have one free training that people get invited to to get an exposure, a little taster of what you do before they're enrolled and converted into a client, right? Whatever your system is, that's the task. That's the thing that you do over and over again till you build momentum, till people start to see that's what you're known for, right? And they start to recognize that this is something you want right? And for you to recognize is something you want. So whatever your goals are, whether they're personal goals or business goals, think about what is the system that's going to get you to show up and do that thing every day that if you did it more consistently every week, how would that accumulate into bigger results for you? Now, I want to take a little quick pause here before we continue, because I want to ask you as you are going through this video, what's one goal that you want to achieve this year? And when you think about systems, right, what you've learned 
learned about systems as a progression move to get you to accomplish that goal, what's one system that you would love to put in place in your life to act as a process for you to commit to consistently getting to your goals faster? I would love for you to share it in the comments. Another big aha moment when it comes to learning about goals and achieving goals in the very many years that I've been digging into this is the importance of mentally rehearsing what you're learning as you go through the journey of achieving your goals. Now, I know so many people get demotivated, right? Before they reach that goal, it's like, when is it going to happen? <laughs> and they're so, um, we are all so focused on, right, that D-Day, right, of accomplishing the goal that we are ignoring all the really big transformation and inner work and learnings that we're getting along the way and giving ourselves a little moment of pause to actually see that we are progressing in so many ways, even if we, if we haven't achieved the goal just yet, there's so much knowledge and learning that we're learning along the way that we want to be able to re-articulate that to ourselves and be able to feel that momentum building in terms of our skills, right? Upskilling ourselves as we go through this achievement of a goal um, and kind of going back into making sure that we are keeping what we are learning along the way in our little mental library, right? So we can get really focused on just the outcome rather than the progress we're making. And our brains really need validation to continue being motivated. So this mental rehearsal of what you're learning is really important for just getting up and doing it again every single day, right? So a couple of ways you can mentally rehearse what you're learning is to actually write it down, journal about it. I used to keep uh, a notebook that was all about all the, the work that I was trying to accomplish and anything that was an aha moment for me, a big shift in how I was making decisions or I saw an outcome come from something non-obvious that I didn't plan for. I made sure to write it down so that I would remember it and 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 can begin that exercise again uh, or re redo what was successful for me for this goal into another goal in the future because we will forget right another way to do it is maybe writing a blog right lots of my clients for example will um, use a blog as a way of documenting their journey not for others but for themselves and if they want people to read it great they can share that link but really it's a personal benefit right to be uh, using a blog as almost like a mental diary in seeing the progression and where you start it and where you end up when you've actually committed to achieving a goal if you are a conversationalist like i am and not a writer Think about using another human as a way to mentally rehearse what you are learning and most importantly, to be sharing your mini wins and celebrating as often as you can, right? When you are en route to achieving your goal. This could be an accountability buddy that are, that's also really uh, committed to achieving some of their goals. And it might be a phone call you do every month with this person. It might be someone in your life that you wanna enroll into your goal success. And and share that every single week with them on just the tiny actions you're taking and feeling validated that you are doing great work. As humans, we need validation from ourselves and yeah, sometimes from others. And there's not, not, not a problem at all to actually enroll people and get help while we are on the way of achieving our goals. If anything is so necessary for happiness and our well-being when we're achieving big, big goals in our lives. Now you know the importance of prioritizing your goals from the get-go so that things don't feel overwhelming and you can actually focus on completing goals before adding more goals onto the plate. And of course, the most important piece of creating systems rather than solely focusing on goals and how to mentally rehearse getting to those goals, knowing what you're learning and giving yourself that validation that you are making progress as you are taking the journey towards achieving your goals. I hope you have found this video valuable. And if you have, please leave me a comment underneath the video. I want to hear what you've been, uh, what was most valuable for you to learn in this video. Um, share it with someone that you know will benefit and yeah, like and subscribe uh, this channel, this video so that more people uh, can benefit from watching this content as well. Thank you so very much for joining me and I will see you soon in our next video.